What up, y'all? It's your boy, Mamas TV. You know what I'm saying? You know, I done switched up a little. You know, nigga done got his little gold earring and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't pit my hair today. I ain't brush my teeth. I ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I nigga just woke up. I gotta go to work at 4 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock. So we finna get to this video. We finna get straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so boom, right? So one day, I decided I'm gonna try to join the army. Military, whatever, active duty, four years, I was gonna do it. None, I supposed to be gone, but I got disqualified, okay? So I'm gonna break down everything to y'all. Alright, so one day, I was like, hey fam, you know, I'm chilling with my homeboy, whatever, you know, chilling with my homeboy, you know, my homeboy, um, he was with me at the time. I said, hey fam, if the money don't hit by Friday, I'm finna walk to the recruiter on office. And join the military, bro. Like real shit, you know what I'm saying? And the money was to my hand was on um, a VA, what you call it, cause my dad was in the military. But VA took so long to send the fucking money so I could pay to go to school, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was gonna be thugging with that money, you know what I'm saying? But that shit ain't gone. So a nigga walked his ass down there, I mean drove down there, then walked in that motherfucker. Got in that motherfucker, I instantly started filling out paperwork. I walked in there, first thing I said was, well, hey. I'm trying to join the military. They said, you trying to join the military or the army? I'm like, the army. So boom, a nigga got down, you know what I'm saying? I instantly started filling out all the paperwork. They talking about, nigga. I'm done with all the paperwork, like, quick as fuck. Like, probably like two weeks, whatever. Because you know it take a little time. You got to do the ass valve, blah, blah, blah. Well, I ain't going to say two weeks. Let's say a month. Because you got to do the ass valve. They got to schedule the ass valve, all that shit. So I done did all this. I done got the birth certificate for my child. All this, I'm, I didn't did it all, you know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, let's get up through that. And then I used to say, hey, when as soon as I can leave, like, I'm trying to leave now, nah, you know what I'm talking about? Cause ain't nothing down here making, you know what I'm saying? If you stay making too long and you out like me, like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you going to jail or you gonna, um, or you gonna kill somebody. Like, it's one or the other, bro. All right, so boom. I didn't feel that all that shit with him. So, nigga, he say, hey, you going to Milps Monday morning or some shit. I think it was Monday or something. I don't know. So going to Milps is... Milps is the military entrance... Something. I don't know. But it's basically the physical and stuff you got to go through before you get in the military. You know what I'm saying? So everything you told the recruiter no for, you got to tell them the same thing because they're going to ask you the same questions. You ever had any injuries? You ever had any surgery? You ever got hit by a goddamn car? You be like, no, no, no. Nigga, I went in that bit. That lady said... So you never had any injuries? No, what the fuck you talking about? So goddamn, you know, you gotta keep telling them no, get up through that motherfucker. All right, so boom, and if you got any marks, they gonna ask, you know, I got that little mark, so I went ahead and told them how that shit happened. Y'all don't wanna know how that happened. We'll talk about that in another video. But, um, okay, so, um, yeah, so you, you go get your hearing tested, they put you inside a little machine, that shit, like you a fucking juggernaut or something. They put you on a little machine with like five other people, and all y'all end up listening to the with some headphones on, and you gotta press the button every time you hear a noise, like ding, then you press it, boom, boom, boom. All right, then you get your eyes down. I fell the fuck out of my shit with one of my eyes. I don't know which one it was. You get your eyes down. You get your blood test for AIDS and all that shit. You gotta go pee in a cup for the drug test, and the first thing you get when you first get there is on um, blood pressure test. But in the morning, at the hotel, they gonna have shit like ham and bacon. So, you know what I'm saying? Just be careful, you know? They don't want, you, don't want, you don't want to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because they gonna test it, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. After that, you gonna be sitting in the room. They gonna be passing out paper, and they just gonna come around with a breathalyzer. So, don't drink too much that night. If you Because, know, nigga, I be drinking now, and I wake up still drunk, you know what I'm saying? So, don't be drinking. Hey, be careful. Because they gonna breathalyze test you the next day, and you will get disqualified. So boom, they do all that shit. Melts were cool to me. I don't know what people be talking about. They be like, people trying to get you disqualified. They be against you and all that type of stuff. It was cool to me. I guess it depends on the day you go and the group you go with. You know what I'm saying? I went with a group for the dumbass niggas. But they ain't irritate them for some reason. Like, that was like, like, we was all, it was funny to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It ain't irritate nobody. And you know the type when it's irritating, but it's funny because you so stupid. It wasn't that. It was just, these niggas were funny as hell. Like, everybody was just funny. So it was just cool as hell to me. It was great. But you're gonna get in this little room, it's gonna be just your boxers, you know what I'm talking about? And it's gonna be like 10 other niggas in that motherfucker. And you're gonna be in your boxers, 
Well, it probably was 10 for me because they were trying to rush through it. So you're going to get in your boxes. Y'all going to run around. Y'all going to rotate your arms. Y'all going to do this shit and all type of shit to make sure your bones and all that. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to duck walk, all that shit. You know what I'm talking about? Then, after that, you're going to go into the little room with a doctor. Uh, that's when you got to get naked and they check your anus, your penis, all that type of stuff. Um, people say something about they'll put their finger in your butt. But on the paper, it'll say... Uh, They'll put their hand in your butt if they see something wrong. So, you know, I didn't go through it. People at mine say they didn't go through it. But, you know, you might go on a different day or you might get a different doctor. And you might have to get the finger up the ass. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. We get through all that, right? So, nigga, matter of fact, the first thing is hiding weight. This the part where I got disqualified. I got disqualified before I even did all that I'm telling y'all about. Before I went in the room naked and all that, I was already disqualified. They just going through with it still. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I got disqualified for weight. They check for weight and height when you walk in that motherfucker. They're gonna tell you to take off your clothes, you know, you got on boxes, that's all you're gonna have on. And you stand on the scale. And they told me I was underweight and I gotta come back when I reach the weight that they wrote on the paper. So I was like, alright, bet. So I went in the doctor thing, then what well you gotta get naked and talk to the doctor. She gonna ask you the same stuff over and over. You tell them the same thing you told the recruiter. Blah 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 blah. I was like she was like, um, we can't let you um go through, but you can come back when you reach this weight. So the weight they wanted me to come back was seven pounds above what I had. All right. I ain't even tell y'all what I had because I'm a little ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it was seven pounds above the weight I had. So this the thing, though. This the killer right here. Guess what? Months go by. We ain't even going to say a month. Let's say like a few weeks go by. I walk in there. I walk in. I'm at the weight they want, but I ain't go back to milks this time. I went to my recruiter to stand on the scale to make sure before they send me, okay? So I'm at the weight. Recruiter say, uh, well, we really want you at um, this weight right here. So this three more pounds above what they didn't told me, to, uh, what the people at milks told me to get. So now I gotta go put on some more, and it's hard, nigga, because I'm young and my metabolism so fast, and I move around constantly, you know what I'm saying? So they like, we want you to gain three more pounds than what you got now. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I step into um so now I didn't gain some weight or whatever. So now I didn't gain the three more pounds. So now somebody say um you know cause it got a lot to do with your hair and your height too, cause they gonna stop it at your hair. So if you taller, um you gonna need more weight. If you shorter, you know what up. So I hadn't gained that weight and they were like, alright, we really want you with um what was that? Two more pounds. Two more pounds above what I just did. Now. I just put on what? What is that? Seven, eight, nine, ten. I just put on ten pounds, fam. Ten. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. So I put on ten. They were like, I really want you right here, or whatever, just to make sure to be sure. You know what I'm saying? Like that you end up. Like I got a cool recruiter though. It wasn't his fault though. You know, it really just me. I, I can't gain weight like that. So now I didn't be like, nigga, hella months, nigga, and now. I didn't, so I didn't put in my, like, while I'm going through all this, I'm like, bro, I'm finna get me a, you know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta eat still, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta get me a job or something, you know what I'm saying? I gotta child and everything. I can't just be waiting to like gain weight to get in there. But I think my job, uh, interfering with me gaining weight. Cause I move around on my job, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, I like, let me get me a job. So I had to get me a little job at Macy's or whatever. That was cool. That was the easiest job ever. That shit, that was so chill. So I got a job at Macy's, you know, doing my little thing, whatever, keeping money in my pocket. They want to steal at home, my mom, whatever. Saving my little money, spending my little money, you know what I'm saying? Going crimin shopping for my son, you know, you know, doing little stuff. So, uh, recruiting hit me up or whatever. And like, you still join? I'm like, yeah, whenever I get the weight, though. So months go by, I'm going up and down in the weight. Up and down in the, with the weight. So I'm like, shit, bro. I'm finna get up out the crib, though. So I didn't move. Got my own place or whatever. So now I'm like, oh, now I really need a job. So now I get a, get a um, better job. Boom. So now I'm working, blah, blah, blah. And now I like, shit. I go down there if I get the weight, but I ain't even trying to force it no more. You know what I'm saying? Because it was already hard. Like, I can't be trying to force it. The only way I can force weight on me, like, the only way I can gain a lot of weight is if I'm just eating and sleeping all day. And you ain't making money sleeping all day. And I need money, bro. Like, I got a kid, rent, bills. You know what I'm saying? Car. I, I, I'm sorry, nigga. I, responsibilities. But yeah, man, that's the story of 
I tried to join the military. And now I just feel like I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it ain't meant for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing right here. Like, I'm finally back. Y'all can see that. I'm finally back. I finally got my own space. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's finally back. Oh my God, nigga. But yeah. So I feel like maybe, maybe it wasn't meant for me to go. Because it's something else in store for me. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what it is. I really don't know, but I really tried, bro. Like, I tried hard. Nigga, gain the weight and everything. Dedicate my life to going in the army for four years, nigga. Active duty. Not seeing nobody. Coming home only on holidays or whenever we get the breaks or whatever. I dedicated my life to that shit, man. But anyway, so I guess it just wasn't meant to be. So, yeah, man. And that's the story on how I got disqualified. From MIPS and me trying to join the military and it failed. We well, ain't failed yet because it's still in, you know, like I could do it. If I get the weight up, I can still just go in. But right now, I think I ain't spend that shit. But yeah, man. Alright, y'all. Hit y'all with more videos later. I'm out.